Flow control, it's the latest trend in espresso, and now it's more accessible than ever on prosumer level home espresso machines from manufacturers like Profitech and ECM, and on the Dalla Corte Mina for high level home and commercial applications. Hey, espresso lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. Today, a general introduction to what you can do with flow control, the capabilities and uses. We are very excited about flow control. It's a tool to help you get more out of a coffee. And coming up in this video, if you've got flow control on an E61 group machine, I'll show you how to determine what your flow rate is and how to adjust it so you can do flow profiling. I have a couple of machines with flow control here, the Profitech Pro 500 PID and ECM Synchronica dual boiler, and of course the Dalla Corte Mina. Along with those machines, flow control is currently available exclusively from Whole Latte Love on the Profitech Pro 600 and 700, as well as the ECM Classica. So what can you do with flow control? Think long, controlled pre-infusion using flow rates when working with very fresh coffees to control brightness by allowing CO2 to off gas, hitting older coffee with high flow at the start and reducing the flow to improve mouth feel and prevent extraction of stale and oxidized compounds. You can use a flow rate profile that best suits a particular roast level, like a gentle pre-infusion for a lighter roast and more aggressive flows to start for darker roasts. And there's more. You can replicate the extraction characteristics of manual lever and pressure profiling machines or use a low flow and coarser drip grind to turn your machine into a single serve filter coffee maker. Flow control, it really opens up a world of possibilities. Now, in future videos, I'll have a lot more detail, basic flow control concepts and recommendations complete with flow graphs for all kinds of brewing situations to get you started. Before jumping in, you do need to know what your flow rate is and how to adjust it during an extraction. Now, on the Della Corte Mina here, it's really easy. The Mina is programmable based on flow rate and timing in five steps. From there, a digital flow meter in the machine takes care of the rest for you. If using the E61 flow control on Profitech and ECM machines, here's how to determine your flow. What you do is measure the output over 20 seconds with the flow control set in six different positions. So measure at one eighth turn open, one quarter, one half, three quarters, one full turn, and one and a quarter turns. Now, I'm using weight as it's the most accurate and easy, but if you don't have a scale, you can measure the volume. So just let the brew water run for 20 seconds in each position, then divide your total weight in grams or volume in milliliters by 20 to get your flow rate in grams per second for each position. Here are my results. They range from 1.5 grams per second at an eighth of a turn up to about 11 grams per second at one and a quarter turns open. With that, you now know how far to open your flow control to get a desired flow rate. So here's a simple example of what you can do with flow rate if you're, say, working with a coffee that's really fresh. The profile comes from World Barista Championship Judge Danilo Lodi for the Dalla Corte Mina. I recently spent some time talking with Danilo at George Howell Coffee in Boston, where he was pulling some really incredible shots on the Mina using one of George's Kenyan coffees. So here is Danilo's profile for the Mina. Very simple on the Mina again, just program the profile and the flow meter in the machine takes care of the rest. But using flow control on the E61, you can do the same thing now that you know the positions to use to get a desired flow rate. In my case, it's six seconds at a quarter turn, then five seconds at just under half a turn, and then reduce the flow to finish the extraction at a little more than a quarter turn. Now, I'm using an ECM Synchronica, and it has an automatic timer, so getting the timing down is easy by just keeping an eye on the shot clock. This profile does wonders with a super fresh from roast coffee. The gentle start allows the CO2 to off gas and decreases the bitterness you'd get with a full rate extraction of a really fresh coffee. Then keeping the flow relatively gentle and finishing near where it started helps to extract sugars and flavors and build a sweeter aftertaste. 
So that's just one example of how you can use flow control to improve an extraction in a particular situation. Again, coming up in future videos, I'll go into more detail with profile graphs for other situations and brewing methods. In the meantime, use the link up here to check out our entire collection of machines with flow control, ranging from the single boiler ECM Classic to heat exchange and dual boiler machines, and right on up to the programmable Dalla Corte Mina. As always, use those comments if you have any questions, and be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm Mark, thanks for watching, and I invite you to come back soon for more of the best on everything coffee, brought to you by Whole Latte Love. Wanna learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.